Hi, I'm Terry Naturally. You know, there are several principles as to how we can be healthier. First of all, food is the foundation of our health. Food is our best medicine. Also, a good night's sleep. And, of course, leaving out some of the bad habits. Smoking, drinking alcohol excessively. And also, we need a lot of water. We need to hydrate our body. But a lot of people never think about exercise. And there's a lot of people that sit on the couch all day and the only thing that they exercise are their fingers when they use the remote control. And really, exercise really is a part of a good, healthy lifestyle. And exercise against a resistance, like weight-bearing exercise, is very, very important. So we need to do that in order to be healthy. So if we lose muscle, we're not gonna be very strong. So we're just trying to gain our muscle strength and also Actually, we actually improve our bone structure as well. So we don't want to get older and get bent over. We want to have a nice straight posture. We want to be able to walk well. We want to go on tours. We want to play with the grandchildren or play with the kids. There's a lot of things we can do. And two of my favorite exercises that everybody can do. And I want to demonstrate them for you so you know how to do the kettlebell swing and the kettlebell squat. These are two exercises that anybody can do. Now, the only thing you wanna do is make sure you choose the right weight. And it doesn't have to be a lot of weight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do about six cycles of this exercise, each exercise. And when I say a cycle, you do it for about one minute. Just exercise for one minute. And then you take a two minute rest. That's three minutes. Now, if you do six cycles, that's 18 minutes. And it only takes you 18 minutes, about two or three times a week, but it's only six minutes of exercise. That's awesome. And people get a really strong body, strong bones, and overall good health. So I'd like to show you what to do for the kettlebell swing. So if you can do the kettlebell swing, what you wanna do is you wanna put it down behind you, behind your feet, a little bit behind your heels, because as you pick it up, you're gonna gain the momentum of coming up. If you put it right in front of you, you don't gain the momentum. So you want to be a little bit ahead of the kettlebell. So when you pick it up, you pick it up like this and you come up with a swing. You do not want to do a squat. This is called a hinge movement or it's called a hip thrust. Put it down and rest. That's the kettlebell swing. I'm always out of breath. It's so easy to get aerobics and a weight-bearing exercise. Now, if we're gonna do the squat, you can hold the squat in a number, of, a number of different ways. First of all, you can hold it like this by the horn, or you can hold it like this, this way. I find it better this way. Hold it against your chest and just squat. Now you're gonna squat. Now it's not a hinge movement. It's not a hip thrust, but a squat. Your back, your legs, your entire body will be stronger. Now we're exercising. And we've just done an exercise schedule. We did the kettlebell swing. We did the kettlebell squat. And if you haven't done this before, or if you haven't done any exercise before, I might think you will be a little bit sore the next day. So what is the best thing for muscle soreness? Curamin. Curamin relieves pain associated with overexercising, overexertion, or lifting heavy objects. If you're straining your muscles, you're gonna have pain. Doesn't make any difference if it's the attic, basement, or exercising. Curamin every day works fantastically. It gives you the best results, or your money back. If you don't love it, you get your money back.